As you have learned, there are several ways to select elements. Another method is using a fence. When compared to the element selection, a fence has two additional capabilities. It can act as a void to exclude elements inside or overlapping the fence boundary. A fence can also clip elements that cross the fence boundary so that only the parts inside or outside the fence boundary are selected. As you can see, fences have numerous fence modes. A fence can also be saved as a named boundary in the DGN file for later use. In this lesson, you will learn place fence, the use of fence modes, and the use of fence types. Continuing in selecting elements.dgn in the array elements model, ensure that no elements are selected. Select Place Fence on the Home tab in the Selection group. In the Tool Settings, set the following. Fence Type, Block. Fence Mode, Inside. Place a rectangular fence that crosses several elements. The fence is displayed as a transparent green rectangle. Change the Fence Mode Tool Settings to Overlap and then to Clip. And note how the fence boundary changes from a solid line, inside, to a dashed line, overlap, or a dashed dot line, clip. Change the fence mode tool settings to void clip. The fence is displayed in transparent red now, warning you that all elements outside of the fence will be processed. Note. You will also notice that as a fence mode changes, an icon on the status bar at the bottom of the application window is also updated. Select the Copy tool on the Home tab in the Manipulate group. Note that the Use Fence tool setting is enabled automatically when a fence is present. Snap to a point in one of the elements and copy the elements to another location. Reset to complete. All elements outside the fence and outside the parts of the fence overlapping the fence have been copied. To remove the fence, click the Place Fence icon again. You can draw different types of fences, rectangular, polygonal, or circular. Or you can create a fence from an existing element, from a view, from the contents of the model, or from the area enclosed by a set of elements. Note, to delete elements or parts of elements depending on the fence mode you have selected and you have a defined fence, you will have to use the Delete Fence Contents tool instead of the Delete Element tool. Place a circular fence around some elements and set the fence mode to clip. Hint, if you want to snap to elements while placing a fence, hold the Control plus Shift keys down. Select Delete Fence Contents in the Fence Tools. Accept the fence contents with the data point and pick Place Fence again to dismiss the fence. The elements and parts of the elements that are inside the fence have been deleted. Note that the clip shapes have been closed again. That's because in the user preference, optimized fence clipping is enabled. You can find this setting on the backstage. Pick File, Settings, User, Preferences, and look in the category Operation. In this lesson, you learned Place Fence, the Use of Fence Modes, and the Use of Fence Types. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.